Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and I am bringing you the estate sale haul that I talked about in my yesterday's um, thrifting video. For those of you that are new, my name is Tanya and welcome to my home and um, I hope that you like what you're going to see. This is a thrifting channel, an estate sale, um, sometimes yard selling, which I really don't have much luck at. But, uh, and then we just try to look for vintage treasures. Um, I have a few antiques and we try to incorporate that in our more modern home. So stick around if you're new. I hope that you like what you see. And as always, I'm always thankful to see my old friends coming back. Okay, so this was a really great estate sale and a halfway kind of thought that Greg would want to go back down there today and I think that he did it's just that we had you know things to do we had to go to the grocery store and clean a little bit we're having some company this week so you know no fun we did go to a couple of thrift stores just here right in our town so um but no like really great treasures today so anyway let's dive into this haul I don't even know where to start. Um, first of all, I got this. Now, this and I got this and the six classes that match for $20, y'all. You had to buy it as a set. Um, you And I, I'll just be honest, I already have this picture, but you had to buy it, you know, all six classes um, and the, the picture together and so I got the that Hazel Grace y'all let me hear about your pets do y'all have pets do y'all have babies pets um Hazel Grace is six months old and man she just gets into everything we've always had cats and you know dogs but there's just something different about Hazel Grace she is a mess but anyway, um, you had to get all six glasses and the pitcher. So for $20, all six of these glasses and the pitcher was just not a bad deal at all. I've had been looking for these glasses ever since I got the pitcher back in the spring, and I've just had absolutely no luck thrifting them. Um, you know, you can always go online and order them, but they were a little pricey. So I got a great deal. I may um, sell one of my pitchers. I don't know. I've uh, tried to sell a couple of Liberty Blue pieces that I have double on. I've just not had any luck at it. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Or I may just have two pitchers. And I, if I have a party, um, I can have two different beverages in it. I don't know, y'all. I really only have uh, party-type events during Christmas. Anyway, that's just me being silly. Okay, then I got... Now, I said I wasn't going to buy any more pink depression glass. And so, this lady had a closet. It was in a curio cabinet in the pictures, but they had moved it all. Um, I think they sold the curio cabinet, but it was in like a pantry closet. And there were four or five shelves. I don't remember, but all shelves in the floor was packed full of the pink depression glass and it was they were high even at half off it was it was kind of high and i had almost all i mean there may have been a few pieces i didn't have but um i saw this and i did not have this and i thought i've never even seen i may have seen this once at an antique store i'm not really sure but what i'm gonna assume is like a relish little um like dish i can't talk um you know or i don't know cranberry sauce whatever you wanted to put in it but this was sitting in it they had two and um i only got the one but y'all it is a pink depression glass ladle now after the discount because yesterday was 50 percent off i did pay 12 dollars for this but I know I've seen this one time in an antique shop and I don't even remember how much it was. I just walked away from that. So that was a good find and I will still pick up pink depression glass um, when I find it at, you know, if I, well, a good deal or if um, it's just something that I've, you know, never 
had any luck thrifting, um, I will pick that up. But I have so much depression glass now that I could fill my own curio cabinet, which I am on the hunt for. I just haven't really had any luck um, finding one. So then I've got, of course, I'm always picking up patinaed silverware. And this um, was no different. They had a few pieces. But for some reason, I, I'm trying to read. This piece is the HR or the, the H Rogers. You know, we see this a lot. I just thought it was pretty. It's not very patina though, but it will. And then this one, I cannot make out what it is, but I feel like this is, um, oh, it's a Rogers too. But it was really pretty. So it'll go with my um, patina silverware a lot that I like to stick out of ironstone pitchers. Now, I got these for my sewing vignette because I do so much sewing. Um, y'all y'all knew how horrible I am at even sewing a button on. Y'all would think this was so crazy of me. And I've never seen fancy scissors like this. It doesn't really, I guess, mean that um, you know, they're not common, but I'm going to assume that these are old, but look how pretty the handles are. And they're still kind of sharp. I mean, I'm not going to use them, but I thought these were so pretty. So I'm not sure. I need to Google lens these and try to see if I can find out like what era they're from. They're probably not as old as I think they are, but you know, we'll see. So then y'all, I have wanted but I was not going to pay the price for green. Well, I guess it's, I don't know, is that the only color it comes in? Uranium glass dishes, but they had some. They only had just a few pieces really that I bought. Um, I got two plates and I got four um, like little, I don't know, sherbet dessert cups. Um, these were $3 a piece. So if you've ever, you know, been on the hunt and y'all, I didn't have my partner with me. I was by myself and they had probably about 12 of these and I got four. And of course I got one that is chipped and I try hard not to buy chip things, but I was also juggling. I, I never have a bag. I never have a box. I had boxes in my car. Um, but so I don't know. I may have done that or I may have just got the one in the whole lot that was chipped. But these were advertised in the pictures too. They had their own curio cabinet. It was full of this uranium glass. And when I got there yesterday, um, it was the second day, but when I got there, there were like, I think 12 of these and these two plates. And that was it. It was gone. And they had like cookie jars, um, glasses, you know, all the mini pieces, uh, just like they do with all the different color depression glasses, you know, pieces. But um, they did have a black light on these and these do glow. So, but the reason I wanted a few pieces is I thought in the springtime, it would look really pretty mixed with my pink depression glass in my hutch, you know, putting a little bit of green, but I may also use these at Christmas time, depending on how I end up decorating with all that stuff. Okay. Then I got, um, this platter and it is the Royal Blue Ironstone. I had bought a few little pieces at the thrift store that I showed y'all. Um, and I do have a creamer. So I went ahead and picked this platter up. I've been, uh, I, Told y'all I had tried to buy this whole set at an estate sale. And, um, I mean, they had all, like, eight plates, teacups, saucers, a whole, it was eight piece, uh, a five piece, or however many, five piece place setting for eight people. Creamers, sugars, um, platters, the whole kit and caboodle for 50 bucks. And this lady beat me to it. But, um, so I'm okay with just getting a few pieces. But there's, I like the swirl because it is like my, um, Johnson Brothers, but this is Wedgwood, Wedgwood and Company, um, is made in England. Some of you, this is a very well-known pattern. I'm sure many of you 
um, have seen this before, but I was, I couldn't believe the platter was still there. I went after um, the amber colored glasses and two ironstone platters and a couple of ironstone pitchers, but I only got one. Well, I guess this is ironstone, but I only got one of the solid white ironstone platters. So let me grab that. So I got this. Let me see if I can read it. It's the um, J&G Meekin from England, the ironstone platter. And I have a large square one like this, except for it, well, it's not really square, it's more octagon. It has straight line edges. Um, it doesn't have a lot of crazing, but you know, it has, it has some. It's good and heavy, but this is gonna be a great addition to my ironstone platter collection. Okay, now I did get this because I do decorate, um, well, I decorated the summer, my kitchen in strawberries and strawberries have, if y'all hear that, that is my son and he has on headphones um, and so he doesn't realize how loud he is, but sorry. Anyway, I decorate my kitchen with strawberries and so, and strawberry stuff is hard to find, but I saw this and I grabbed it. I think this was like six bucks. Um, I thought it would be cute to have for next summer if I do the strawberry theme again, which I probably will. I really enjoyed that and I really liked because I had the little white daisies that I mixed with it and um, I put lemons with it and that was just really cute for the kitchen. So that was a good find for $6. Now I got this duck and I think he was, I don't know, he might have been $5. I'm not really sure. He's nasty but Greg is gonna paint him. Um, I think he may have even named him, but I don't remember what he called him, but Greg likes ducks and stuff like that. So I grabbed this duck. I should wait and show this in my Christmas haul, but um, I have been looking for like some winter artwork. And this is not necessary. I guess it is more Christmas, but anyway, I don't know if I like this frame, but I grabbed this little print and I have so much to show in my Christmas haul, which is why I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all these few pieces right here. Um, this is a, come from a Courier and Ives calendar. Now the frame is falling apart. Like literally she has it um, together with string and a few nails, but I thought that this would be so pretty for the winter for after Christmas. So this will be pretty to hang up or put out in a bookshelf or something for after Christmas. It is the Courier and Ives. Um, just a nice little winter scene. I don't remember. I think that was like, it was like, I really think it was like two bucks, maybe. But then there was, and I have often like looked at these um, on auctions and things, and they're really they just auction up for too much. Um, but they have books and then they have, I guess, calendars. And there's several sheets. There's, I think there's like 40 sheets on here. And um, so the calendar is on one side and then all of these beautiful Courier and Ives prints. Now we have about 10 that I went through, or Greg went through actually, and picked out um, ones that he thought would be great for us to use for the winter. There is some um, awesome, uh, I'm trying to find, this one is really cool. There's, uh, oh, I can't hold it. Some awesome um, ones for spring. There are a lots of old, sail, like um, not sailboats. Uh, let me see if I can flip through it. There's even one that is from, um, oh, look at this one, y'all. I think this one's cool. Racing, doing the buggy racing. It's from September of 2003. Um, but there's one from February. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we had just a little bit of technical difficulty there. We were going through the um, Courier and Ives calendar pages and some amazing prints. Um, what our plan is to 
take some of those because there's all kind of seasons. Um, there's even one from February 1993. I mean, not 93. Oh my gosh. February 1994, which is when we got married. So, um, that is a special one. It is of the, uh, building up of New York city. But anyway, we're going to pick some out that we want to use for the, um, winter. And there are some, I think a couple of Christmas ones in there. And then try to thrift some cool looking frames and that will be a lot more economical than just always rebuying different pictures and um it will help with space and having to store all those so then i saw these and oh my gosh talk about memory lane y'all does this not just take you back to your elementary school days if you're my age <laughs> um i can remember my teachers hanging these up and um you know, decorating. We had, uh, like lots of windows in my elementary school. And I mean, they would be on the doors. I've got a couple of turkeys here. Let's see if I can, you know, they were just, this kind of stuff was just everywhere. The doors, the chalkboard, the windows. Um, look at these. Now I don't really think that these would be, I can't really think of a place that they would be all that appropriate in my house. Um, but I'm going to take those to school and decorate my, um, classroom with them a little bit. Now this one, I'm going to keep at home and I'm going to find somewhere to use this and his head come off. I didn't do this, but he was so precious y'all. I bought him anyway. And I think it's a pretty clean line and I think he was just a dollar. Um, honestly, he should have been free, but, um, I think I can just get some like clear tape and match that up really good. And fix him for spring. I know this is kind of awful with his head broke up, but like he's got a little bit of water damage, but just instantaneously memory lane right there. Um, now the last thing that, yes, the last thing that I have to show you, um, I had spent all summer trying to, I have a friend who loves refrigerator boxes and I had been trying to thrift her some refrigerator boxes and I just kind of gave up thrifting her the Pyrex, the, um, you know, the colored kind, uh, or print kind or any kind because they're just crazy expensive. But I had found her last weekend or the weekend before, I don't know, you know, I found him while we were on fall break, a sum, and I was so excited and I was all ready to give them to her this past Monday um, for her birthday and y'all, they fell, my part, my, they're in my purse, my purse tipped over off the island and they didn't just break, they shattered. Oh my gosh. And she, I had told her I had her something amazing and I just had to tell her, I was like, listen, this is what I got you. It's shattered. I don't know how long it's going to ever take me to find any, but at this estate sale, now I have to soak them because this lady really used them, but I was able to find her one of the large clear glass ones. And I know there is a larger one, but the loaf size clear glass ones, um, there's absolutely no chips, no nicks, no cracks, nothing on these. And then I was able to get her one of the small ones. So she will love these. I was very excited to be able to find these for her. Um, if I ever do find any of the Pyrexes where, you know, that aren't like $500 for a set. Um, and I know that you can bid on things on eBay and you can bid on, there is a pink gooseberry, the pink gooseberry um, that I, like my Pyrex set that I have, refrigerator box set on auction for Goodwill right now. Um, and it is already out of my price range and it has several days left. So, you know, the chances of me stumbling across them are, are just going to not, they're slim, but who knows someday I might be able to gift her a set of the, the, um, printed. And I think she would take any, but all right, guys, this is going to do it for that estate sale haul. Um, I think that it was a pretty awesome estate sale. I didn't get like, I know it doesn't seem like I got a whole lot of things, but what I got was mighty and I was very happy to get it all. The next video is going to be my Christmas, or let me rephrase that, is going to be my vintage Christmas haul. And I, I honestly, guys, I may just try to go ahead and film that either tomorrow, which is Monday, or Tuesday, 
and get that out to you. So after this, be watching for that video. Um, if you subscribe, you can hit that notification bell and that will let you know whenever I post videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps this channel grow. It gets me in the recommended slot for people. Um, but, and please share, feel free to share in the recommended slot for people. Um, but, and please share, feel free to share. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. It's a quick little video because you guessed it. It's Sunday night and I still haven't done that homework and that's what I've got to get in there and get done. But let's see, it's, I think I still have like four or five hours till it's due. I'm good. I'm good. It's all good. All right, guys, y'all have a great week and until next time, happy thrifting.